Hi Excellers, welcome to another How to Write Salad Excel.com video. Today we're going to look at counting unique items in a pivot table. Now this is actually, this feature is only available in pivot tables from Excel 2013 onwards. So sorry about that if you use Excel 2010 or 2007. So let's see how easy it is to, to do a distinct count or a count of unique items now in Excel 2013 onwards. So, so this is our data source, an Excel table. So we can uh, hit Control A to select our data. And then we can hit Insert Pivot Table, or we can use a, a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt N V. That's Alt N V. And let's pop this on the existing worksheet. Here. So if you want to be able to use the distinct count in Excel 2013, you just have to look at the, at the bottom here and it says add this data to the data model. Now you have to tick this if you want to perform an, a distinct count and have that extra functionality in your, your pivot table. You then hit OK. So the data model is part of Power Pivot, um, but uh, this still works if you don't have it installed in your version of Excel 2013. So we can go ahead as usual with our pivot table. And uh, in this example, let's make a, a count of product names. So we can take our product name and hit put that in the values. So this is counting how many product names we have there in the pivot table. And we want to count the unique items, which previously wasn't available, but if we go into the value field settings here, you scroll right down, you'll see now there's a distinct count available. Now, if you didn't tick the box which said click to add the data to the data model, that won't be there for you. So let's just hit OK, and there we have it, we've got four distinct product names. Let's just check. One, two, three, four. Cranky Croc, Bunny Fish, Lazy Lion and Tall Toad. So there you go. That's how to uh, carry out a distinct count or count unique items in a pivot table, uh, which has been added into Excel 2013. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again for another How to Excel of Excel.com video.